Looks like we did it, guys. We finally reached 30,000 subscribers. So I just want to say thank you all. I really appreciate your support, liking, commenting, sharing your knowledge and wisdom with the other viewers. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, the community that we've created here. So let's keep up the good work. I'll have more informative videos coming soon. It's just going to be a crazy ride, so stay tuned. So with that said, let's start off this 30K special by discussing my beard. I think it's about time that I make this video because every single time I post a video, people are asking me, Alex, what the fuck did you do to your beard? used to have a terrible patchy beard and now it's looking pretty full. It's looking actually good. So what did you do? And I figured like now's the perfect time to talk about it. So before I discuss the methods, I want to first give you my story why I decided to grow beard in the first place. So keep in mind everything will be timestamped in this video, right? So first and foremost, it should be evident that uh, I wanted to grow beard my entire life. I really, I love beards. I think they look so good. I kind of have a little bit of an obsession with beards, if you will, like a manly obsession with beards. When I would have, when I'd be watching cartoons, I'll see these guys with these big fucking Viking beards. It was so cool. Even the video games, you see the guys with the beards and shit. It's like, fuck, man. And I always wanted a beard when I was a young guy, obviously. And it wasn't until I entered high school that this effect became even more pronounced. That it was, I was starting to crave it like fucking crazy because you see. I grew up in an Italian neighborhood. That's kind of why I have this uh, Italianish accent, even though I'm Canadian. I know it's weird. I'm Canadian. I'm not from the fucking Bronx. But yeah, I grew up in an Italian neighborhood, and all my friends growing up were Italian. Every single one of them. I think I had like a few uh, Spanish friends here and there, but it was 99% Italian for real. And one thing about these guys is that they were hairy as fuck. Starting 15 years old, these guys had beards that looked like mine. I shit you not, bro. They had fucking beards. They had body hair. Like you would see them, they'd have stubbles. They started shaving at like 13 years old. And it's pretty crazy, but it's true. And for me, I didn't have that going on for me. I had absolutely no facial hair whatsoever. I had zero. I think it wasn't until I was like 15, 16, I started developing little fucking peach fuzz. And it looked terrible. It looked fucking awful. So I would just uh, shave that shit off, right? And I, I wanted, like, people would actually tease me in school. They would say, ah, look at my beard. Yeah, I, I, I remember. I'm not going to name drop here, but... They, like, they were very proud of their beard. It was considered a very masculine thing. And all the women, they would fawn over these dudes that had the beards, you know? And I was kind of jealous, I'm not going to lie. Because I always, I thought the beards looked fucking cool. It looked so badass. Like, I envied that shit. And then they, these guys were rubbing my face like, yo, Alexander, because that's my name. Alexander Leonidas or Leonidas, whatever you want to say. Like, yo, Alexander, you like, you like my beard, man? And I was like, oh, you motherfucker. And it was just, we would kind of tease each other like that, right? So I always wanted a beard. And I waited. <laughs> My parents told me that. I just had to wait till I was a bit older that it would grow. They told me to shave every day. It would grow out faster. I realized that was bullshit. And I waited till uh, my late teens. Still no fucking uh, beard growth going on. I think by the time I was 19, I started getting a little bit thicker on the mustache. A little bit more chin hair. Maybe a tiny bit on the sides, but it was nothing significant. I would just shave that shit off. And I shaved that shit off for a very, very long time. Eventually, I decided, okay, I'm old enough. I've waited long enough. Maybe my genetics will allow me to develop a beard. So I decided to go on a beard quest. And I didn't shave for about 11 and a half months. This was actually in 2016, right? And wouldn't you know that I still couldn't grow a beard. I ended up with a mustache, which was darker than before. At least it was filled in, for fuck's sake. And a little bit of chin hairs. I want to say about like five hairs, not as thick as it is now. And the mutton chops, the fucking mutton chops. And that's what I became known for. Guys would say, shave your shit off, Alex. Shave it off. But of course, I never decided to do this. I just left it on there, and that was kind of my look. The Alpha Destiny Mutton Chop look. And people made memes about it too, which was uh, pretty hilarious. And at this point, I was trying to get, I was starting to get discouraged. Man, I, I didn't shave for 11 and a half months, and I have this fucking bullshit of a beard. So I'm like, okay, there has to be a better way. And I was thinking of shaving it off, but I soon got contacted by a bunch of subscribers telling me, Alex, have you heard of a drug called Minoxidil? And I was like, Minoxidil? What's that? They're like, yo, man, it's this thing that you put on your face and it's, uh, it grows beards, man. There's all kinds of people making results off it. And then they, they send me these links to the articles and all this stuff. I was like, okay, I'm going to check it out. At first, I was skeptical because I thought it was going to be some other bullshit. So I look at these transformations and lo and behold, you have guys in their late 20s or 30s, 40s that they can't grow beards. They start using this shit. It fucking stimulates the growth. And there were transgender people using it. There were females using it. Uh, there were men who just didn't have a lot of facial hair using it. There were Asians using it. And the testimonials, there were just too many to be overlooked. And I knew that it wasn't bullshit, and I decided to try it out. So from there on, I bought a 12-month supply of minoxidil. It's minoxidil 5% topical solution. And what I do essentially is I apply 1 milliliter in the morning, 1 milliliter at nighttime. And the result is that I have actually grown a beard out of doing it. Like I said, in the past, all I had was uh, mutton chops. It would go right here, and all this area did not exist. I didn't have any connectors. You can kind of see the connectors now. Uh, I had no hair here. There was nothing under my chin. That's obviously filled up now. 
And uh, yeah, it's just getting better and better. This is only the beginnings. I'm on uh, week 13 about, and I suspect that about uh, like month six, it's really going to look fucking full, like Viking status, you know? And I'm going to show you how to apply it later on in this video, but that's basically what I did. I used uh, minoxidil, 5%, topical solution. No, I did not inject testosterone. This is uh, a drug, but it's not for muscle building purposes, okay? This is for your fucking beard. Actually, it was originally used for head hair growth. Uh, people actually took the risk of applying it to the beard. It's, it's not even FDA approved for beard use. So guys like myself and uh, many others on the internet have taken the risk. They use it on the fucking beard and it works. It's actually uh, it's actually Rogaine. That's what it is. It's just Rogaine is the name for the drug. The drug is called Minoxidil 5% topical solution. So that's what I use. I use Minoxidil and I grew a fucking beard out of doing it. And I'm so happy, man. I'm telling you, like, I, I always wanted a beard. I always fucking wanted it. I craved it. I wanted that Viking side of shit. It, to me, it was the manliest thing in the world. And I've always been obsessed with manly things. I, I, I fucking love manly shit. Manly anime, uh, manly clothing, manly whatever the fuck. I think it's cool. Even lifting weights. I like the naturally enhanced muscles. That's why I'm so big on the philosophy. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, man. That's how I grew a beard. I used minoxidil. So my beard is not natural. <laughs> my beard is fucking enhanced. That's the only thing that's enhanced about my body. My body's full natty bra. But my fucking beard is enhanced to the max. It's chemically enhanced, if you will. So that's uh, how I pulled it off. And uh, I just want to give you a quick overview of the drug. Yeah, like I said, it is a drug. It's not a supplement. It's not a like a uh, skin hair product. It's actually a drug. So there are some uh, side effects that come with it. Number one, you have to be at least 18 years old to use this stuff. I would wait till even 20 because uh, you might grow a beard by 20 years old. Some guys, they just have to wait a little bit longer. So I'm going to say milk your genetics for what it's for, similar to what you would do in bodybuilding. And if you notice that you can't grow a beard no matter what, then maybe consider using this drug. Now, here's what you have to consider about this, okay? Uh, minoxidil is, again, it's not FDA approved for beard growth. Uh, so that said, there are some side effects using this drug. Uh, typically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over the common ones, and uh, you can decide for yourself whether or not it's worth it. But first of all, dry skin is a big one. Like when I started using this stuff, man, my skin was dry as fuck. I had flakiness. When I'd wear black shirts, I would look down and i have all this white crust on my shirt because it would fall off my fucking face. So I kind of uh, counteracted that by uh, using creams, moisturizing creams. I would put on my face this oatmeal cream. It's not, it doesn't have any DHT blockers as far as I'm concerned. So I rubbed that and it kind of went away. Eventually I said, fuck the creams. I just let go of it and the dryness went away permanently. So it just sometimes you just got to get used to the skin, right? And another thing is redness and, or itchiness. You'll notice this the first time you start using this stuff because it is a drug. You start getting itchy as fuck. You start doing this to your beard, you know, it's like, it's a terrible thing. What I used to do is I'll take combs, like really spiky combs and Oh, it scratched the fuck out of my face. It would especially get itchy uh, under this area here, okay? So that's another thing you might have to worry about. Uh, another side effect is uh, heart palpitations. Some guys have reported that their heart beats faster. Luckily, that didn't happen to me. Uh, some people say that it makes them feel drowsy. I'm not going to lie, this did happen to me. So what I did was I used uh, coffee. So instead of having two scoops of coffee, I would have three scoops. And that kind of got rid of the problems right there. Uh, other issues, I mean, some people say re erectile dysfunction, but I highly doubt that to be true. I'm, I'm kind of fine, you know, and... I've never heard anyone report that issue, to be honest with you. And another final thing is uh, body hair on the other sides of your body. Like, that, that's true. It happened to me. Basically, I have fucking uh, finger hair. I didn't used to have finger hair. It's legit. I even have forearm hair that never existed before. Like, it's, it's gone a lot thicker. My chest hair has thickened up. Uh, so has my belly hair a little bit. But it's not significant. Just a little bit, all right? But, yeah, that is noted to be an effect because uh, minoxidil was originally used as blood pressure medication. It was just that hair was a side effect. So then they started using it as a fucking <laughs> hair growth drug. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that could happen. You might grow a little bit of hair elsewhere, but it's not going to be like super thick. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. And for me, I like it because it's bear mode, you know? It's the bear mode look. So I'm fucking happy that I have chest hair and all this other shit. So yeah, those are the main side effects, man. It's nothing really serious. Again, I encourage you to do your own research. This is not a medical video. Always consult a professional before doing this shit. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty much uh, the side effects of using this stuff. And I think it's uh, it's safe. If you're like 20 years old or above, you know, you know what you're doing. You looked at all the, the research, should be okay. But uh, yeah, that's that's how I grew a beard. It was by using minoxidil 5% topical solution. I would now like to show you how to apply this shit. So I'm going to show you how to apply it and then we can get moving. So let's uh, bring you over how to do it. Okay, so essentially it comes in this little bottle right here, right? And usually it has a dripper as well. I'm not sure if the one actually has a dripper, the one you got, but either way, this is what you need, okay? What you have to do essentially is fill it up to one milliliter. You're going to see a, a dot where you got to do this. So you open up the bottle, okay. kind of lean it in to the dropper, and you select one milliliter. So I'm a little bit above, but that's fine. That's usually what's going to happen. And essentially what you start, start doing is applying it to your patchy areas first. So for me, it's a little bit, I still need more work around here and here, especially under 
here. So I'm going to work with that first. So let's uh, do this. Just squeeze it on, right? So I brought it across. Now you just rub it in like that, okay? You could also put it a little bit on the sides here. And you just rub it in. You bring it on under to the neck area too. You want to attack the whole beard here. So now I'm rubbing in the connectors. Now you do the other side. So connectors, patchy area, full area. You just rub it in. It's a fast process. Like this stuff doesn't take uh, a long time to do. And you can see I did my, my mini lineup right here. So I remember that rubbing that in, it's all good. I'm gonna do under here. I need to grow some right there. I'm not trying to grow the, um, the sides here because I think that it looks better when it connects from the underlip, right? So you just rub that in. Could have put a little shot under the neck. Rub it in, you know. Just marinate it, you know, marinate your face. It's a simple process like that. And then finally bend off with the mustache. Go. Go like that. A couple of drops. And then just part it with that. That's it. And you're good. You pretty much uh, used up the entire milliliter, and now the minoxidil is on your face. So it's done. You leave the shit on for four hours, and then you wash your face, and then you apply it once more at nighttime. So one milliliter a day, you do this process twice a day. And then you're going to grow a beard in about uh, 3 to 6 months. 3 to 12 months about. So, that's it. Sometimes it'll go on your lip. That's fine. Just move it a bit. It's blood pressure, blood pressure medication originally. Uh, so you should be good. And like I said, if you have dryness of skin, uh, you could add uh, like creams and stuff. And that should be fine. But that's how you apply demon oxidol. You know, it actually it makes your beard look darker too. Uh, when you apply this shit. That's why in some of my videos, you actually see it's a bit darker. Okay? It's not because I'm dying it or anything. So that's how you apply it. So that's it, man. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, special. I know it was not a fitness video, but you know what? My channel name is Alpha Destiny. I cover uh, topics that are different than fitness sometimes, you know. And uh, I just hope that this helps guys uh, grow a beard because I know for myself, I always wanted a beard. Like a beard was my one of my biggest obsessions, to be honest with you. And now that I can finally develop one and it's going to get even thicker, there's only a beginning. Like I said, I'm super excited for that. So... If you're a guy who's been struggling in your 30s, your 40s, or you're just your your mid 20s, you know, and you're not growing a fucking beard, uh, maybe consider minoxidil. It's gonna help you out a lot. And honestly, the way it works is essentially you uh, stimulate the hair follicle, right? And it creates vellus hairs, which are like little light hairs. And eventually, these vellus hairs, the more you use minoxidil, they fall off and they turn into uh, terminal hairs, which is actually the really dark hairs. Like you can see, I've got a lot of terminal hairs here. This is terminal. This is not falling off. Uh, but around here, it's kind of lighter, so this is very velocity. I still got to uh, build that up with minoxidil. If I don't, if I get off the shit, it's actually going to come off. Oh, yeah, and in terms of how long you got to use the shit, it's about uh, 6 to 12 months, to believe it or not. Uh, 3 months is going to get you good development like this, but if you want the full effect, uh, 6 to 12 months, you're not going to lose any gains, and you're going to have the thickest beard possible. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below, and uh, that's it. Good luck on your beard journeys, folks. Talk to you all next time.